Hello there monsters and men, ladies and people, and welcome to Recharging and welcome to a range test with the BYD Dolphin. The Dolphin with the same drivetrain as the Atto 3. And I do mention that because there are two drivetrains in the Dolphin. One with a 45 kilowatt hour battery pack and a WLTP range of 340 kilometers. And this drivetrain, again, the same one as in the Atto 3 with a 60 kilowatt hour battery pack and a WLTP range of 427 kilometers. And knowing from my range test with the Auto 3 in spring, the drivetrain can be efficient, but the numbers today will be different because it is winter at the moment and the BYD Dolphin is smaller. So I expect this car to be more efficient than the Auto 3. But again, not today because it is currently winter. You know the drill, I will do one test at 90 km per hour to simulate those mixed driving conditions and I will do one test at 130 km per hour. I have to mention though that I did the 90 km per hour test on a different day than today and during my 90 test it was around minus 3 degrees Celsius and at the moment with the 130 km per hour test it is 3 degrees Celsius. The car is charging up and then let's do the test. As usual, the first update when the car has used 10% state of charge. So, 10% state of charge. On the 10%, I have driven 33 kilometers. So the range, it seems like right now, is 330 kilometers. I expected a little bit more, if I'm honest, 340, 350, but it is what it is. And also, it is cold. It is minus three at the moment. I already saw minus four, so a proper winter range test and also I am not saving on the climate control it is nice and cozy in here I want to be warm while doing this test like you want to be warm when you are driving a car uh, the last thing to notice though is that I do have tailwind at the moment the wind is not that strong but still I do have tailwind so when I turn around I will have headwind so I'm really curious what the end result will be all right, the second, as usual, 25% update. So that means the car has used 25% state of charge and on that 25%, I have driven 82.5 kilometers. So still spot on a range of 330 kilometers with this car. I have the feeling this won't change much during this test, but I have just turned around. So that means we have headwind at the moment. So it will probably go down a little bit. Besides that, the average consumption at the moment is 17.5 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. But as I've already said, I have headwind now, so this will go up a little. And what else is there to say? It is still minus three degrees and well, it will stay that during this test. And yeah, the BYD is a comfortable car. It is not the most quiet EV in the world, but it is a cheaper car. So, well, that is to be expected. But the suspension is really good. It feels like a German car. That means it is comfortable without getting floaty or anything. It is, it feels rock solid. Again, I really like it, really like it. Anyway, I will cruise on and you will get another update when I used 50% state of charge or the car has used and then, well, then it's time for the result. It has done it. The car has used 50% state of charge. And on that 50%, I have driven 175.5 kilometers. So the range has dropped while driving with headwind. The total range, it seems like right now, is around 315 kilometers. And I don't think this will change the upcoming kilometers that I will drive. So yeah, that's it. Again, a bit disappointing, but it is what it is. You will see me with the final results in one, two. For a change, I am not at a charger. No, I am in an empty parking lot at a restaurant in the forest near my house. Yeah, that sounds a bit creepy, right? Yes, I know. But there is plenty of street light to make it less creepy. And the reason why I'm standing here is because I'm doing the 90 km per hour test on a different day than the 130 km per hour test. So after this, I go straight home and to bed. Yes. Anyway, the result of the test. I started the test with 79% state of charge and I, well, I left the highway with 22%. So that means I've used 57%. On that 57%, I have driven 182.2 kilometers. 
So you can do with the BYD Dolphin with the larger battery pack in these conditions, 319.6 kilometers. The average consumption was 18.1 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. And I have to admit, I am I expected a little bit more from this BYD Dolphin. This Dolphin has the same drivetrain as the BYD Auto 3 that I have tested, and well, that well that was in different conditions. But again, the drivetrain can be efficient. This is a smaller car than the Auto 3, so I expected in winter 340 kilometers, something like that. But again, it is cold, at least for the Netherlands, it is cold. It is around minus three degrees Celsius. I have saw minus five, it's currently minus four degrees Celsius. And there is some wind from the east, but I think the cold, yeah, the cold is killing it. But I have good news because again, I have tested the BYD Auto 3 with the same drivetrain. And well, that car could do its WLTP range in better conditions. So I am confident that this BYD Dolphin with the larger battery pack can also do the WLTP range of 427 kilometers in more spring summer conditions. If you have the smaller battery pack of the BYD Dolphin, that one has a WLTP range of around 350 kilometers, if I'm correct. So in spring, summer, you can probably do that in these kind of conditions. So in winter, well, with this consumption and well, then I assume that that drivetrain also has this consumption. You can do around 250 to 260 kilometers while driving 90 kilometers per hour, 90 kilometers per hour or on mixed roads. Anyway, I'm going home, so, well, I'm now going home, but you are going to watch the 130 kilometers power test. I have good news, I think, because the car has used 10% state of charge, and on that 10%, I have driven 23 kilometers. So it looks like the range is 230 kilometers, which is the same as the Atto 3, but the Atto 3 was in spring, summer, and this is in winter, so the Dolphin can do more than the Atto 3 which, well, was to be expected because it is a smaller car, but it is nice to have a confirmation of that. Does this change? Maybe, maybe. But the state of charge scale in the BYD Dolphin is very linear, so 10% at the top is the same as 10% at the bottom, so I think it will, the range will be around 230 kilometers, also because there's not a lot of wind today. The roads are wet though, even though According to the weather forecast, it should have stayed dry, but it is not. Still going strong, the car has used 33% state of charge and on that 33% I have driven 72 to 73 kilometers. So the range has dropped from 230 to 215 kilometers. But I am still in the range of the Auto 3, where the Auto 3 was in spring and this is in winter. so. This car is still more efficient than the Auto 3, which again makes sense because it is smaller. But just like in the Auto 3, this drivetrain loses its efficiency a little bit on higher speeds. Anyway, you will get the final result at the charger. Alright, so I am done with my top speed range test. Yeah, I know it sounds a bit strange, but time-wise this was better. And also my top speed range test didn't really go as expected. So here's the link if you want to see it. <laughs> Here is the result of the 130 km per hour test. I started the test with 80% state of charge and I arrived at the charger with 24%. So that means I've used 56%. On that 56% I have driven 124.4 km. So you can do with the BYD Dolphin in winter while driving 130 km an hour. And you have the 60 kWh battery pack. 222.1 kilometers. The average consumption was 26.2 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. And what is funny to see though, is that the Auto 3 in spring, again with the same drivetrain, while driving 130 kilometers an hour, could do 224 kilometers during my test. And the BYD Dolphin, which is a smaller car, so that means less drag, can do 222 in winter. So in summer, you can do more than this, probably 270, something like that. So it's really fun to see that you have the dream, same drivetrain, smaller car, which has less drag, so you can go further on a single charge. I mean, it really has an effect. 
What is also fun to see though, that if you drive slower, so if you do the 90 test, it barely makes a difference. So yeah, fun things to see, fun things to see. And that was also the test. Yes, and I hope you liked it. And if you did, well, please give a like and do subscribe. If you have something to say about all of this, well, leave a comment. And then I would like to say now, thank you a lot for watching. And as always, do be continued. Thank you.